Hey there! This is a walkthrough of how to add a guidebook to your listing using the Hostco's guidebook template that we've created for you. Um, this is a customizable template that you can add to your listing. Um, and essentially, what we recommend is that you build out a welcome guide for your guests. You send it to them two weeks in advance in your Hostco store. So what that entails is you build this out, you add it as an item in your Hostco store, um, and then you send your guests your Hostco store link and say, hey, we have a guidebook. Uh, check this out before your stay. And you can also purchase a late checkout or fresh flowers or whatever else you're adding to your Hostco store. And what that does is it enables you to essentially have them enter and exit through the gift shop on their way to the guidebook. So this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to edit the customizable Hostco guidebook template. This one right here. This is the premium one. It has customizable elements um, like a map or, you know, just emojis and images. It's much more kind of designed. We also have a basic welcome guide template that's more of a Google Doc, um, just a document that you can edit and put information in directly. I'm going to walk you through both of those, um, and then also to start, I'm just going to show you how to add your guidebook to your store in general. So this is especially helpful because, you know, some of you might already have a guidebook. So if you don't need this video to show you how to build a guidebook, then at least I can show you how to add it to your store. So this is for pro users only and pro plus users. Um, when you click add product in your host code store, you can add an external link. So this is super helpful and I think well worth the price of admission um, for a pro plan uh, because you can add any affiliate products. You can add something to West Elm. You can add something to another, you know, to a local photographer you have, um, anything really, um, or a guidebook. And so really how, all you do is, yeah, you, you name it, you put the image in. Um, I have an image right here that we can use. And then you just add the link and then save the product. And then what we recommend is pinning it to the top of your store. So then when a guest clicks it, it'll go right there. So when you send your guest the link saying, hey, you know, if you need anything before you arrive or while you're here, you know, when you add that to Airbnb or your other messaging platforms, what essentially it does is you can use your welcome guide. Be like, hey, welcome check out our welcome guide and send them to your host ghost store. So uh, here's how to edit the guidebook template. So I'm going to actually go to the one that we give you the link for so I can show you how to duplicate it. So right now this is view only um, so you can't edit anything um, but you go to the top right corner see these two squares and click duplicate and you will create an all new version of the template for yourself. Um, it will ask you to basically create a Notion account. Um, and that's super easy to do, not too hard. Um, essentially what this will do is give you an, an editable sort of... Notion is made up of different blocks. So you can see it's all the text is editable right there. Um, all the images are editable, all the emojis are editable, everything you can change. Uh, but I'm just going to walk you through how to edit different kind of components of this because it might seem a little intimidating at first, but I promise you it's it's very easy uh, once you get the hang of it. So starting off, if you want to change this cover image, you just scroll up and click change cover. Um, and you can choose from their gallery of images. You can choose to upload an a image from your, you know, it could be like a photo of your listing or your living room in your listing. If you have a photo of your listing online or another photo, you can paste the link in or you can change it through Unsplash, which is a, a bunch of essentially um, stock images. So you can look, you know, and pick a, a photo for that or you can keep this one. The same thing here, uh, this is an emoji, so you can change it to a different emoji or you can upload through custom um, if you have a logo or if you want to switch it to Airbnb's logo or booking.com or whatever you want, you can change that there. 
Moving down to the text, um, change, I would change the title to your listing, obviously, or whatever else you want to label it. Um, you can say, welcome to our home. And for different elements, basically, you can click them to delete them. So just click. So this is like our instructions here. So just click it, see how it shadows it, and then just click delete, and it's gone. Same with any basic element in this. So um, here's how to edit things. So for Wi-Fi, it'll be you know my network. You, you like what I mean is you can just add text. Um, for this map, it's gonna be a little bit different. So you're gonna need to get the link to your map. So go to Google Maps um, and essentially look up your address. And there's a button. There's a share button. Click copy link. Go to the map, click the three dots in the right corner, click replace, and then copy and paste your link. The map will expand, um, but it will show your listing and you just drag it down back to the appropriate size. And your, your map is right there and, and that's your address. Moving on to the table of contents, this is a very, this kind of edits itself depending on what you do below it. So this is, you don't need to change this. You don't need to touch it, you don't need to delete it, or add anything to it, it will automatically add or delete things as you do that down in the actual document. And then you can just click to get down to them. So these sections, uh, it's up to you if you want to add these. Um, basically, you just customize them with text, like I said before. Um, if you want to delete them, click the six dots next to an element and just click delete. Um, if you want to duplicate this, click the six dots and click duplicate. And you can basically say, you know, Uber, you know, whatever you want to do here. Um, and then if you want to add an emoji, um, just scroll all the way down. There's a bunch of blocks that you can add and just click emoji. And you can click it and it will give you an, an emoji to add. And really you can add a bunch of custom elements here. You can add headers, text blocks, you know, links, videos, audio. Notion is really cool and customizable. Um, for the sake of simplicity, I'm not gonna add any of that stuff here. I'm just gonna show you how to edit what we already have. Um, but that's essentially how you would do it, to delete, duplicate. And then essentially you're gonna have the same thing for each section. So we've got checking in. Um, you're gonna add the Google Maps link to your house, um, add whatever one is actually real. Um, and then we give you several kind of ways to add your host code store. So like if you need anything else during your stay, including a late checkout, local massage, visit our host code store, enter store link here. Welcome to country city town. So basically any bolded section, enter your link, enter your country, your city, your town. So going down here, what you'll find in the home, these are things that basically what your guests might need to know you have before they come. So do we need to bring Zopra shampoo? Um, what can we expect for coffee? Uh, firewood. So a lot of our hosts will offer the first couple of bundles of firewood for free and then run the rest of their host code store. So you can enter your link here if you do that. Uh, moving down during your stay, um, amenities. This is another way to promote the curated local experiences in your host code store. So private chef, massage, uh, you know, axe throwing, flower delivery, you know, things like that. Um, so just enter your store link um, and then again add or delete any of these sections you'd like. Same with checkout. You can add a late checkout link here. You can add a link to rent bikes, whatever your listing offers and if not just delete it. Uh, finally the last section is places to be and see. So this is the AI concierge that is in your host code store. Just enter the store link and through that a guest can essentially plan out an entire itinerary for their trip using our new AI feature. Um, it'll give them restaurants and sightseeing things for whatever days they're in. And if they book through that, then you get a cut back from the revenue. Um, and then for this, this is just like a very fancy way of presenting restaurants, cafes, tourist spots, you know, things like that that are near you. It looks complicated, but it's very simple to edit. It's essentially a table. You can see here if you click table, with the name of the restaurant, the contact information, the cost, the delivery, you know, the walking Google Maps link. So going back to gallery view, um, you can go in and edit any of these yourself or you can duplicate it. 
um, from this button. Um, so let's go in and edit. Um, essentially, you can change the image like we did earlier with the emojis. You can change the name. You can change the Google Maps link. All these informations if it's delivery, Wi-Fi, distance. You can give a little bit of a description. And then if you want to change the image, um, click the three dots. And just like we did with the map, click replace. You can either upload a file or embed a link from online. And if you'd like to add tags, um, you can do that here. So you can say burgers, you can say fries, um, and then that tag becomes po like possible for anything else you do. So that's kind of how you edit these, um, and you can do the same thing for any of them. Once you're ready to share your guidebook, you're going to click go up to the top right and click share. Make sure that the link is public. Click copy link, and then do what we did earlier. Um, go in to your host code store, go to product settings, and then click paste. And then whenever somebody enters your host code store, they will enter your welcome guide. If you'd prefer to use the basic one, um, it's very simple. Um, so we have instructions here at the top, but essentially what you're going to do is you're going to make a copy of it. So click file and then click make a copy. Make sure you are not sharing it with the same people because then you'd be sharing it with the host code team. Uh, I would recommend naming it here. So whatever your listing name is or whatever you want the document to be named. And it's gonna create a copy that you can edit and only you have access to. So then you're gonna go down and essentially edit everything to your listing. Um, I'm not gonna do that here, but you, you can do it. Address, internet, um, any of these sections you don't have, like if you don't have a cowboy tub, you can just delete it. And you can add any sections of your own. If you have, you know, spa or pool heating that you want to talk about, you can add it there instead. Um, really just customize it as much as you want. You can add, remove any of this stuff. Moving down, you have the need help section. So if you want to add your phone number, checking out instructions, if you want to add late checkout, closing up checklist. And then you've got the exploring the area section, which is basically just a plain text version of that section. Um, so just giving local recommendations here. Um, and same deal. Um, first, in, erase these instructions. So erase, click delete, and then delete the box, this box here, by just clicking and clicking delete. Then click this line and delete. And then just bring this to the top. And then to the top right, you're gonna click share. You can see there's a lock here. So right now it's private only to you. So in order to make it accessible for anyone that you send the link to, which is gonna be any of your guests, change it to anyone with a link under general access and then click copy link and then go into your store. And just like we did with the premium template, with the basic template, you just link to the URL. And your welcome guide is all set. And that's essentially how both welcome guides work. So if you have any other questions about how to work these or uh, anything else that the pro plan provides or any ways you can use external links or welcome guides um, or tips on messaging and sales, just contact us at support at the We're happy to help or talk with you anytime.